me look at this animation for this blunderbuss. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, we're, we're just running through him right now. Where did... What? Yo, this guy got the PTRS. Hey. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're not going to be taking a look at the snipers. We're not going to be taking a look at the new LMG or the new melee weapons, but we're going to be taking a look at the new shotgun. This is the first ever DLC shotgun that Call of Duty World War II has put into the game. The Prometheus is the one that I have, which is actually the blunderbuss. So if you guys don't know, this gun was actually in Advanced Warfare, and honestly, I, if I remember correctly, it really wasn't that good. So we're going to be taking a look at the blunderbuss. This is the class setup. I may tweak it throughout the video, but honestly, Honestly, you're gonna always want to run these three attachments. I'm doing the same thing that I did last video guys for every thousand likes on this video I'll be giving away two beta codes down in the comment section and throughout this video I'll be hiding blackouts for beta codes as well So I hope you guys do enjoy it Let me know down in the comment section. What is your favorite shotgun of all time? Mine's probably gonna be pre-patch akimbo model 1887s from mw2 or the spaz 12 from mw2, but let's jump into it Right, this oh my god, this lobby is like beautiful except for you know, we have this guy eight and one and nine and four Let's check this out. So the animation is actually pretty funny. I would really love to see the heroic one uh, Let me know if you got oh my god Let me know if you guys got the heroic one down in the comment section But what's so good about this weapon is the range is insane and on top of the range, you know It's a one-shot kill no matter what so you know back in aw It really wasn't that good of a weapon, but I think in this game It is a lot better considering there is no jetpacks Having advanced rifling makes it 10 times better. Hustle, reload faster, all that good stuff. Where are these guys at? But, uh, you know, I doubt we're going to be able to get a V2 rocket. I've gotten close, though. Definitely going to have to go through the ruins. Woo, gotcha. The bad thing about this weapon, though, you can't collapse people, which I think is very stupid. That You can't hit a collateral with a shotgun. Look at that range. Look at that range. Look at that trigger finger. Going into their spawn. This guy right here. Right here. Hello. Hello. What's up, beautiful? That's how we do it. I tried not to pick up any weapons if I don't have to. The reason why I'm running Expeditionary instead of like something like Airborne is because I wouldn't be able to reload fast because I wouldn't be able to run Hustle and I would be running out of ammo constantly. So I decided to run Airborne Expeditionary simply so I can get more ammo and so I can run Hustle and reload faster. Where are these guys at? They're all up in there. Guy to my left? Nope. Gotcha. There's another guy in the corner. How did I miss that? Oh my god, if my teammate would have died there. Dude, we're legit 8 and 0. Like, you may think that this weapon is a bad gun to have, but honestly, if you're gonna have to, like, buy a shotgun, if you run Rifleman, and I know I'm gonna kind of hate myself for saying this, if you run Rifleman, you might as well run this, just because it's guaranteed one shot. So, instead of running a pistol, you'd be running this bad boy. Because it's so consistent. We're on at 10 right now. 11. Dude, and with Hustle, it reloads decently fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? What did I what am I doing? At this point, I don't even know. At this point, I don't even know. Let me just throw some stuns. Let me get over here. I love expeditionary because it gives me the uh I can paint the minimap. Gotcha, dude. With oh my god, it's such a good weapon. He has a shotgun. It's all good though. Got you, teammate. We're on a fit. Okay, we're gonna be able to drop a V2. 100 No, no! Oh, teammate, teammate saved my life. Thank you. 16. Let me get a 17. Woo! 17 and 0 first game with this class, bro. Yo, we're, we're gonna drop something. We're gonna drop something. If we wouldn't have joined late, V2 would have been in the bag. Oh! Collat! You actually can! Let me know your guys' thoughts about this update so far. So far for me, I like it. I think this is a good update as of right now. Uh, I hope they continue to add more things. You know, I hope they don't just think like... Just, oh my god just adding these weapons and like adding the infected game modes right now is like the best thing to do really hope they continue adding more content because oh my god he's just sitting there gotcha bro that's why you don't sit there with a sniper i got you we're gonna have to play i think we're gonna play mid map because mid map probably I better not die to this guy where's he at oh teammate with the clutch easy kill okay we're very close firebombing run but yeah i hope they add more than just you know what we have so far i know it's kind of like being greedy or like asking for too much but like you know it's cool that they add these new weapons i love them i'm not gonna lie i'm having a lot of fun with this blunderbuss but you know it, you can't just add one set of weapons and then that be it and like 
you know, the event's cool. I can't wait to play some of the new game modes. Ooh, fire bombing run. There we go. Fire bombing run's it. About to get the paratroopers. We're getting some ammo back. Nice little double kill. There's a 10 kill streak, though. I'm gonna set up the. Oh my god. Kill? Yes! Alright, so we got the paratroopers. Call them those bad boys. Oh, this guy right there. No! No! What? Are you. What? I'm really wanting to play the horde point, which is basically a hard point, but with zombies. I can't wait to try that game mode out. Just because it looks like so much fun. You know, on top of having the enemies have to come at you, you have zombies running at you. And then we also get a new weapon at the end of the event, which is, looks like looks like a Wonder Wall, to be honest. Oh, we're, we're just running through them right now. Where did... What? How did that hit fire even kill me? Get out of here, bro. On top of, like, the horde point that we have, I can't wait to play the Relic of the Undead. Because it's like, if you guys remember in Halo, Oddball, where you grab the skull and you run around and you melee people with it. It's pretty much like that. And I can't wait to try that out. Because, you know, Halo was such a fun game. I, I really, it's really a shame that Halo went downhill. But, got over here. How was that a headshot? I want to know. So I had this idea when I was just running around playing this, trying to finish up this video. Wouldn't it be cool if the duelist perk allowed you to run dual wield blunderbuss or dual wield sawed off shotgun? I don't know why we're not able to run at least dual wield sawed off shotguns because they're tiny, but I mean, maybe I don't know how you re reload them, but like the Rangers in Modern Warfare 2 had them. Blast him. I'm dead. Easy. Woo! Get on a little streak. There we go. Guy coming for me. Nope. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I need to get out of here. How did I just make it out of that? Yo! Guy coming in. Gotcha. Oh my god. Are you serious? These hit markers, man. Oh my god. Get out of here. God. Oh my god. No! Why did I miss that shot, bro? Oh man, we were doing so good. And I ended up getting him with my bouncy Betty anyway. Come on, push me. Push me. Oh, uh, teammate. Always coming in, jacking the kill. Did I just survive a glide bomb? Oh, the collapse! All right, so we got some shipment. This is this is gonna be interesting because oh, um, I, I don't know shipment shotguns. It's gonna be fun. There's one kill to start. This guy right there. He has a shotgun too. But guess what? We're gonna pick up his. Sh oh, I can't pick up his shotgun. Place that there. Guy coming right here. Got him. Okay, now we're gonna wait. Get the reload. Woo! That scared me. Easy. Oh no! Grenade. UAV. Let's wait for him. Wait for him to come through. Please come through. Please come through. Easy. Place the Betty there. Oh my god. Can't believe I just made it out of that. The reload. Calling it right there. Oh snap. Here we go. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. I know we're using a lot of streaks, but... Ooh, he's right there. Betty kill. There's the troopers. No teammate. Oh snap. Getting a little bit nervous on this. Cat wall this. Oh my god, my paratroopers! Holy crap! This is gonna be like a paratrooper only V2. Or not V2, uh vicious. God, see, I keep getting these hit markers. Okay, where are they at? Easy kill, there's 25. We're almost there. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, there we got the vicious. Okay. We got the vicious at least. I was Oh my god. 34-0. Okay, I know we use a lot of streaks. That's not insanely impressive or anything. 
But, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Of course, we had to do it on shipment, and we had to drop a Vicious with this bad boy. I'm still... Maybe one day I'll go for a V2 with this thing, or maybe do a weapon comparison of the AW1 and the one on World War II. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see me go back on AW and do a weapon comparison with this one. The fact that we dropped that was all based off our streaks. I think we may have gotten maybe like 14 or 15 kills with a, shot a shotgun, so like half of the streak wasn't with, uh, was with our actual gun. Okay, so we had 16 of the kills with our actual weapon, and you know, it's shipment. It's chaotic. I Dropping a shotgun V2 on shipment with one that you got to reload every single time is pretty difficult. Cool. So you, you, you give me some slack, bro. Are you dumb? 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 Are you dumb?